a little terrifying. I hope to see one of these Titanobo just because we don't have anything like that in the world today. So, this is a Titanoboa. Water, not too surprising there. She's actually attacking this crocodile. This is really surprising. This may be big for her, um, but she's wrapping her, her whole body around her, which is a, a really good strategy for kind of taking down your prey. So really big animals tend to need a lot of resources, a lot of food to keep them going. That the tropics have ever had a Food availability is the limiting factor. Given that it probably fed on all kinds of different things, um, it could have switched. She can uh, exert enough pressure that's uh, about 100 times that of an ant. It looks like the crocodile got away. Snake might have decided to have turtle for dinner today. Titanoboa was the top predator here at this time. The crocodile, the turtles, nothing really would have given it much to worry. After everything we've learned about Titanoboa, this massive predator uh, that was fierce and formidable, why would such an animal have died out? It may be or loss of habitat, or it became so specialized for some kind of prey that eventually disappeared, or many, many factors that sort of built up one on top of another on top of another that ultimately led to that species disappearing. That's probably the story with Titanoboa. The big complicating factor here is that we really have no idea when Titanoboa first appeared and, and when it ultimately did disappear. Die. The reptiles to become much larger. 正因为佢哋生到咁巨型，如果喺陆上生活嘅话，可能个优势会冇咁大。正如而家啲陆心鹽咁，当佢生到太大隻，就会大部分时间都浸喺水里面。泰坦巨蟒以前都系一样，我哋发现泰坦巨蟒啲化石嗰阵，包括佢侧边细隻啲嘅生物，好明显都系沉积喺一条河入面。里面有啲好大隻嘅淡水龟同鳄鱼之类嘅动物。泰坦巨蟒将猎物勒住嘅时候，佢所施加嘅压力可以大到相等于纽约布鲁克林大桥咁重。佢哋绝对系，佢哋喺地球起码可以称霸到一千万年。而佢嘅近亲六心鹽，就代表住一条蛇喺现时嘅气候条件下可以生长到最大嘅。